you welcome my homestead and welcome to my channel in this video we're going to talk about can anybody know when the second coming is going to happen will the prophet know well joseph smith said something very interesting uh, in this regard um, i'm doing this based on a comment i'm not going to say who it's from but the comment says christ himself doesn't know the time of his coming dot 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 so why do we play this game of speculation the idea that quote unquote time is short is literally the name of the church it being the latter days, but breathlessly speculating based on the words of any man is laughable. No leader of the church has any idea when the second coming will be. Well, if you're new to the channel, uh, you probably haven't seen this, or if you don't read the end sign, but if you go to the church website, okay, and you go to um, the church magazines, you go to the end sign, go down to 2002, Okay, go to August. Let's see, where is that right here? And then find this article called, let me zoom in so you can see it. You go down to this article called The Prophet Joseph Smith's Use of the Old Testament. Okay, all right, let me zoom in again. Now, if you want to just hurry and find the part that we're talking about, do Control F if you're on PC. And then just type in hour. Okay, and here we go. So this is in the end sign. Uh, let's just start. Let's just start here. No, okay. Therefore, hear this, O earth. The Lord will not come to reign over the righteous in this world in 1843, nor until everything for the bridegroom is ready. Of the Savior's words that no man knows the day or the hour of the coming of the Son of Man, from Matthew 24, 36, the prophet asked, uh, quote, okay, now this is Joseph Smith, according to Joseph Smith, uh, did Christ speak this in a general principle throughout all generations? Oh, no. <clears throat> he spoke in the present tense. No man that was then living upon the footstool of God knew the day or the hour. But he did not say that there was no man throughout all generations that should not know the day or the hour. No, for this would be in a flat con this would be in flat contradiction with other scripture. For the prophet says that the God that God will do nothing but what he will reveal unto his servants the prophets. Consequently, if it is not made known unto the prophets, it will not come to pass. Now, we were actually reminded about this recently. If you go to the church website again, go to General Conferences, October 2021, and then look for Elder uh, Christoffel Golden. Here it is. That's under, it's under the Saturday afternoon session. Okay, and his talk is titled, Prepare for the Second Coming of Christ. So you go here. Do control F. Um, actually, no, just go over here to the footnotes. Okay, let's see, where is his footnote? Okay, footnote 11 is the one that we're looking at. I'm going to see if I can actually find it in the talk. There's 10. Okay, there's 12. Here it is. In our preparation for the second coming of Jesus Christ, I provide a vital comforting note for the faithful taken from the Old Testament prophet Amos. Quote, Surely the Lord God will do nothing until he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Now, the interesting thing, okay, the interesting thing about his uh, footnote uh, for this, he says, look at the Joseph Smith translation. So, let's go to Amos uh, 3.7, and it says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Now, in my mind, that's already kind of clear that the Lord the Lord God will not do anything until he reveals it. But the Joseph Smith translation actually inserts the word to make it clearer. Uh, he changes it from but to until. Until he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And uh, let's actually just go there, just for good measure. Okay, that's right here. 
Uh, let's go to the footnote. And it says, Joseph Smith translation, until. Okay? Surely the Lord God will do nothing until he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So, I'm not going to any, you know, uh, really hard to find reference or anything like that. Uh, this was put out for the general membership of the church. Um, this was put in the ensign. So, <clears throat> this is not true. This is not true. And I'm pretty sure, especially, even if you didn't know this, um, you get the sense. You get the sense that President Nelson maybe does know. Uh, otherwise, I don't think he'd be talking this way. And I don't, I don't know, uh, sir, how long you've been watching the channel, but there is so much overwhelming evidence that they do know. Uh, I don't know. Now, what we don't know is if it's soon, you know, is it this year, next year, 10 years from now? Don't know. Uh, but there is overwhelming evidence to show that they do seem to know. Um, so anyway, but even if you don't accept that, as far as this argument goes, that uh, no one can know, and that this is laughable because we're we're speculating, well, I'm, I'm basing that off of what Joseph Smith said. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it. Make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Also, make sure to share this. I know there's a lot of people, they, they don't have all the time in the world to do as much study as, as I've done to find all these different sources. Um, you know, so I can't fault this person because I don't know anything about their life or how much time they have. But, um, you know, uh, we got to be careful when we make sweeping declarations like this. Like, oh, this is not possible. That can't happen. Make sure that you know what you're talking about first. Um, and then I'll talk to you guys later.